that was D didn't show up. But uh again. And Joko is taking me. Good morning. I am on my way to get a bike and Joko is taking me. He's going to drop me off at the bike shop. Then the second thing I got to do is I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm going to try to set up some appointments to do uh, to get my knee check. I don't know if it's going to happen today, but uh, let's see. I'm going to go check in with the office for my FMP and maybe set up some appointments, go see the doctor and hopefully this doctor can help me out. So, yeah, let's go. Got some money. Now we're gonna go back to the bike shop. It's actually a bike shop I used before when I used to live here. And it's gonna cost me 350 pesos per day for the bike. And I pay for the week, so it's gonna be 300 baht per day, so. We made it to Clark Medical Center. Wish me luck. <laughs> the medical cent, the medical city, what is it? The medical city, Clark, that's the name. Okay, <laughs> we just call it medical city. So, all right, let's go in here, check in and let's see what happens. So I am done checking in. I checked in, the process is super simple. You come into the hospital, you make a left, and the office is gonna be right there. Uh, I will link up the name of the person that helped me out and give the phone number. So for the veterans, if you guys wanna come to uh, Angeles City and you know use your FMP or use this hospital and you're a veteran, she's the point of contact. She was super helpful, uh, gave me everything I needed, checked me in, answered all my questions, then she sent me up to the second floor to see uh, orthopedics. But it, it was a walk-in, and there were, there were already 20 people waiting in line, so they couldn't see me. So I got to come back in a couple of days. I gotta, uh, she made the receptionist at the orthopedics made, a, made an appointment for me. I got to come back in a couple of days at 11 a.m. and get, uh, get seen by the doctor. I think I've seen the same doctor before for, uh, for, for my back issues. The name sounds really familiar. So, got a little bit of coffee. I'm gonna drink this and I'm gonna go and meet my, uh, my cousin Rome and Dee. You guys know them. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you know, you've seen my, my cousin Rome and you've seen Dee. The lady that I got the coffee from here inside the hospital didn't have any change. So, instead of taking the coffee back, she's like, come back and pay whenever you, you can. So, that was like super nice of her. When I come back in today for my medical appointment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her a really nice tip because that was, that was too nice. I was, you know, she don't have to do that. She can just be like, sorry, I don't have change. So, you know, because actually there's another coffee place upstairs and I asked for a coffee and I try to pay and the guy is like, I don't have any change. Can you go get change? Because, you know, he didn't have any change for, for higher note bills, I guess. And that was it. I couldn't get my coffee. And then I came down here and this lady was like, don't worry about it. Here's a coffee you know, pretty much pay when you can, so, you know. <laughs> you know me and coffee, man, is it's highly appreciated. So, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get my coffee, do some editing, and go meet Dee and Rome, and we're gonna hit up a, a Mexican restaurant that's supposed to be the best in Angeles City. So, we're gonna find out. See you in a few.
bien. Vamos para allá entonces. Para encima. And we made it to Amigos Street Food. Supposed to be the best tacos in Angeles City, so we're gonna find out. It looks pretty nice from the outside. Really nice uh, wall paintings. All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. You too. All right, let's get out of here. That was, that was on point. It was very good. D didn't show up, but- uh, Again. Exactly, I was just gonna say it wasn't you. Cause that dude, he's the flakiest of the flakers. Anyways, we're gonna stop by uh, Rome's apartment for a little while, chill there for about an hour and then go back to Choco's house. So let's get out of here. And my favorite part is the view. Hay quien lo aprende y quien con eso nace ya en lo tradicional. All right, guys, so we end up coming to my cousin's apartment, which is, this place is super, super nice. I'm gonna make a video on this, on his apartment, cause it's like, it's, it's just, it's dope. So yeah, that's it, that's it for the video, guys. Uh, I'm out of here. The, the Mexican food was actually really, really good. I met the owner, so I'm gonna go back and have a little interview with him so you guys can get to meet him as well. And if you come to Angeles City, you can go eat some tacos at that place. He stayed in Los Angeles for like 12 years, I think. And now he's in Angeles City and he decided to open up a Mexican joint. And we're gonna go back and meet him and you know, talk to him a little bit more another time. Uh, my, my appointment went well, but there was too many people there. So like I said, I gotta go back in a couple of days and be seen. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, like, dislike, do whatever you wanna do. Until next time, I am out.